the biggest event on the domestic calendar lands tomorrow, the Vitality Blast Finals. But the build-up begins right now from the home of cricket. I'm going on a road trip to all four of the counties involved at finals day. That's my ride. Jealous, aren't you? Next stop, Chelmsford. They nearly named it after me. I think these lads have got the wrong idea. Stop number one, Chelmsford, home of the Essex Eagles. I'm with Simon Harmer, who is an all-rounder in cricket and in life. You've got all the gear and probably no idea, so we'll have a look and see. <laughs> Good luck, Simon. You're going to need it. He doesn't have any pads or a box on, so... Yeah, that looks about right. He's going to get hurt. <laughs> Retiring. Not too much leather on Willow there. Right, I've got my merch. I'm gonna wear this hat for the rest of the day. Time to go up north, lead these boys to play football. Most of you wanted us to go to Nottingham, so we came to Derby, home of the Falcons. I'm gonna dress up, so it should be a great vibe. If you could dress up in any outfit, what would it be? I'll go Stevie the Pirate. Stevie the Pirate? <laughs> what are you wearing at the moment? What's this on your head? Is that is that baked beans? Uh, no, it's tomato sauce with a bit of rust. <laughs> so Wayne, I need a breakdown of Lewis Reese's hair from last week. What do you think? Uh, it was epic actually. I think uh, <laughs> a top effort from Reese. And I was driving him to the ground. I think we left about 10 minutes <laughs> late because he was still in the bathroom trying to, really? trying to stop the blue from running down his face. Derbyshire done. Apparently it's National Hat Day in the UK. I've just been given this. 12 miles to knots. Let's go. So I've arrived at Trent Bridge, but there aren't actually any players here. There is someone getting ready for tomorrow. His name is Nuts and he's currently doing star jumps. Wait, why is he running at me? Right, what's the next? Max, what are you doing over there? Get over here, mate. Mo, I promise I'm on my way, but there's one thing you have to know about me. I was born in Worcester, so there's one little thing I have to do before I go. Mum! Oh, Max! Say hello, Vitality Blast. Hello, Vitality Blast. <laughs> Ironically, we don't have a Worcester mug. Right, Birmingham. We finally made it edge Baston. This is where the action takes place tomorrow. The first semi-final, Worcestershire, Nottinghamshire at 11 a.m. Second semi-final, Essex against Derbyshire. I hope you're ready. Four teams, three matches, two and one winner. Yes, it's Vitality Blast Finals Day here at Edge Baston. My name is Max Whittle and today, Essex, Derbyshire, Nottinghamshire and defending champions Worcestershire will all do battle for the T20 trophy. Today my breakfast involved a lot of protein, yeah. eggs, bacon, sausages. Um, it's the Luke Fletcher diet and uh, it's, it's time tested and proven. You're going to hold that in before you play? Yeah, <laughs> but a couple of nervous poos already this morning though, so um, made some room for it. I think we've hit the jackpot with the weather. The weather is absolutely amazing. I, when I saw the fixtures, I thought we've no chance. It's going to be freezing, it'll be snowing, but it's <laughs> going to be lovely today, terrific. A northern word to describe finals day? Grand. Grand. Freddie the Falcons with me. How'd you feel? How'd you feel? And what was the tactic going into the race? Try and practice hitting sixes and then hopefully when I get out there I can do the same thing. Do you do your hair before you put your helmet on? Uh, I don't, as you can tell by the state of this lid, I don't um, I don't generally do my hair. No, I'm not really a pretty boy, so I don't really care about that sort of stuff. Good luck, mate. Brilliant, thank you. And the crowd sound like it's electric in that first game, so we can't wait. What's your workout routine like these days? Uh, yeah, not a lot, to be fair. <laughs> just mainly just bowl, try and lose a bit of weight bowling and then sit in the stand and fret a bit more weight off while, while we watch the side. This is the Holly Stand, and it's famous for, well, I found a world champion, Chris Wokes. What is your T20 top three playlist? Easy, go. Summer of 69, Hey Jude, and number one, Sweet Caroline. Sing it to us. Sweet Caroline, ba ba ba. Yeah, then it should be, but there you go. Woo. That's too spit up so you can't read what it says. Hands up, please, the road. Drive the car, let's go. That's 
Mr. Motivator, can you motivate our finalists, please? You know, you, know, you guys, don't forget, it's participating is an important thing. So just go out there, enjoy yourself and do it. And whoever wins, I will be applauding you. Say so, yeah, let's mix up. Right, thank you. Let's go and run a marathon, come on. <laughs> so Worcester 145 for nine. That means Essex need 146 runs to win the Vitality Blast T20 final. Swipe up for the final innings of the day. Did you imagine you'd be hitting the winning runs today? Nah, I don't think you could have scripted it better than that. Uh, after this whole season and everything that we've been through, uh, to finish it like that, I feel for the Worcester boys, but god damn it feels good. Did our net have anything to do with this win? Absolutely, you gave me the confidence. You tell me <laughs> what. what are you going to do with your stump? Last one. What are you going to do with your stump? Uh, put it up in my bar one day, I reckon. Enjoy, mate. Cheers. That was the trophy I wanted um, badly. Out of all the trophies, that we've won at Essex, we won all of them. Um, and this was the one that was missing in the cabinet. And um, we've got them. They're about to turn the lights off here at Edge Baston. Essex are the Vitality Blast T20 champions. No coincidence at all. We started our road trip yesterday with Simon Harmer and Ravi Bapara. They lead the Eagles to victory today. Swipe up for the highlights. Good night. <laughs>